or a movement model built in for you to be able to use and consume. So we're trying to rapidly move you through that upskilling and be more effective when it comes to the use of analytics. I think I have time here for one or two more questions. Um, so uh, how do I get my org to support me? So uh, the business case, I think, is really the, the heart of the question here. Um, yeah, th that question alone could, uh, could be its own webinar. Um, so when you think about how to get the organizational support for investments necessary to improve the quality of analytics in your organization, how do you achieve that? Um, <clears throat> analytics can be tricky in this regard and that, you know, as you think about a very bright, straight line value proposition, if we can improve our recruiting by implementing a recruiting system, aha, we can fund that. But in analytics, what you're really going to do is improve all of the, the answers, all of the decisions you make in the organization. How do you measure that? And so what we would think about is think about the systems that you're using today. Uh, is there benefits by replacing those? That's the first place to start to think about. Is there direct measures of the employee population that you can start to impact? Recruiting, um, turnover, compensation. Go after those as kind of your next level as you're thinking about your business case. And then the third would be to think about those indirect connections. What are the business strategies the company is trying to implement? They're trying to improve customer satisfaction. How would a focus on understanding and measuring the people against that business goal, what is the impact that you would expect? So if you can focus it on those kind of three areas, it's often a great way to go get support in the organization for investing in analytics. And I'm about one minute left, so I'll try one quick last question. Um, 